Listen! Hey! You come or I kill everybody! I don't care! We chose Super 16 for the Somali story. So that meant the part of the story, leaving the village, going out to sea, traveling across the water on, on the skiffs. We knew we would shoot, you know, without stabilizing it or, you know, back to the, what are the basics, you know. So we built a little rig just to support the camera so it didn't go overboard and put it back on the shoulder. And the Super 16 with the 12 to one zoom gives me what I described before is like, I've got the whole view here, but I can, I can either pick out someone 12 feet away and get a close up. And I could also show the ship catching up on a container ship on the end of a zoom, because that's what your brain does. That was the perfect way to, for me to do that kind of shooting, you know. And, it, and we got into situations, we were underneath the ladder when they were climbing it. We were drag, being dragged to the, the ship. And it's 300 meters long and you're in the, underneath it. At the end you're getting dragged to has got propellers and everyone's told us not to get near the propeller. So you're, <laughs> but I'm still shooting. Ollie, my focus puller, is going like, fuck, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. <laughs> and I'm going like, keep shooting, keep shooting. <laughs> and then they cut that piece out of the film. They, they used the beginning of it and they used the end of it because we got spat out at the other end and then, but kept shooting again. So basically they used it as two angles. They start to catch them climbing up onto the ladder. And they start climbing. I'm still shooting it under here, but then we pull that here. Then they cut that bit out, and it looks like two angles on the same moment. That's just before getting onto the bridge. That's the Somalis climbing the ladder. They've been hosed down, and we'd been hosed down in the boat. We've got like spinners, we've got rain deflectors over the cameras, and we're bags up, and we're all in plastic bags. <laughs> and their hose piping is down, you know, and, the, and then there's this moment where they have to make the leap onto the boat. First scenes we did with him, walking onto the bridge, we climbed some stairs with him, you know, c camera behind, a kind of classic Paul Greengrass pushing, pulling, pushing kind of scene. Boom, burst that into the bridge, you know, big stop, pull, so that's what this hand's doing controlling the zoom so he got the right frame, searching the room as if you've just walked in. And the idea was we knew he would go off to the right and he would go and get a coffee and then he would go, walk around to the guys and say his first lines about, so what's on the itinerary for this ship? You know, like, oh. you know I follow. He goes to get coffee, but I'm on a kind of mid shot on him. So the obvious thing is when someone, if I lean down like this, the camera wants to go down and see what I'm doing, you know. And then later on, he thought, because he closed doors behind him but, and walked off and, and gone far enough away, and we were still trapped inside the bridge because he closed the door, you know. <laughs> but there's windows, and I could, you know, and the camera just keeps moving around. Until he's, and then he turned back, and he didn't like getting caught, obviously. Like, so he goes, okay, I get it now, I'm going to walk. So I'm going to keep walking. <laughs> and at the end of it, he said, you know, it's, it's like... It was just another way of, of making films for him that he'd never had before, you know, so. I'd like to think that Tom gave one of his very best acting performances in that film. We are under pirate attack. Hey, you're gonna shoot somebody, you shoot me. Where is the crew, Iris? You said this was just business. Is this business? Is this how you do business? I, I gotta admit, I was a little nervous when, when Paul said we've got Tom Hanks. Does the Hollywood thing kick in? Does he want special lighting? Does he want special time given to him? even though, you know, just to make him feel special. But he got it very quickly. He looked at, he looked at the Somali guys. There was a scene we shot with them, with that beautiful skin, that black skin, that's shiny and oiled, you know, the spray, everybody sprayed each other down before each take, you know. So they're in the lifeboat, it's orange lifeboat, beautiful faces. And then you got Tom Hanks. They wouldn't go and look at playback or anything like that. He just kind of glanced across and he went, whoa. I'm going to have to up my game here. You know, really respect Tom for that, because he realised that people who were not necessarily actors could give so much to him that he would have to, like as an actor, start giving more back to them as well, you know. And that's where I think, you know, this perfect storm of energy started to build, you know. Hey! Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. What do you do? Just Look at me, Iris! Listen! Hey. You come or I kill everybody! I don't care! It's your choice! All the ship 
material was done at sea, either in the Mediterranean or in the Atlantic. Three main ships for a couple of days. We had a helicopter flying and we had to have spotlights. I'm often saying to the director, wouldn't it be great if they had two spotlights on the front? Then we could, you know, and they go, yeah, but they don't. Every director, because they're coming from a kind of realist thing, will be like, yeah, but that wouldn't be right, would it? And you go like, no, forget that then, we won't do that. And often, I've got to say, directors are quite right. Like Ken Loach saying, why is that light in the room here? And you go like, yeah, it doesn't really have to be here, does it? I couldn't put that somewhere else and put it out the window. The scene involved the frigate doing a U-turn at speed in the sea to cut off the lifeboat. And we had a camera inside the lifeboat. We had two cameras on the frigate. We had one in the helicopter, looking down on the helicopter and over the boat. I'm in a rubber dinghy at rib, closest to the lifeboat, so I can capture everything. We'd actually got a lighting boat, which was kind of, we'd put a big balloon out on a, a lighting boat that could drift behind and give some silhouette. And I'm hand holding the camera on a long lens and I'm following the action. And we did it twice, once just before it got too dark and then once just on the blink. And I'm trying to go like, we've got to get this all to happen at 7.15. Before seven o'clock is too bright. At 7.30 it's too dark. We've got to, and Chris Guerreras is organizing three Navy ships, a lifeboat, support vessels, two helicopters, and he's as cool as a cucumber. And, he, and I'm going, come on, come on, let's get it. And other people are filming, helicopters taking off. That was all happening on the same moment for half an hour. From that is the sequence. We generated that wave by, by doing what they did. They did a kind of handbrake turn in a Navy frigate, which caused a wave. We had to go through that as well. You know, you're being tossed around. This thing, even when it's hand-holding, you've got to put yourself in the right place. Thank you.